run a sim- let's run a simple strategy and let's run it over let's try get it over six seven stocks let's see how fast we can do this um okay so we're gonna say okay let's take a very simple one and let's let's stick with bars that's what we've been going with this webinar um bar change is negative okay so if we have two by five minute bars together that are negative and we'll just use SPY. I'm just going to use any stocks here. I'm not sure what's going to come out of here. And if SPY, mm, let's, okay, you know what? Let's use this. If SPY, this is, this may be cool. If SPY one minute volume is greater than SPY 20 minutes average volume, there we are, average volume then buy one SPY. You can adjust it to what you normally trade with. Um, okay, so we've got a cool strategy here. We're just saying, okay, if two by five minute bar change is negative, and if the one minute volume is higher than the 20 minute average volume, then let's get into the market. And let's test this. Uh, let's, hmm. Let's close this uh, as what we've been doing for most of it at profit of 2%. Of course, you traders need to feel comfortable with what you're trading with. And I urge you to try different levels of profit and loss um, to find what you're comfortable with. Um, so we got close position at profit 2% or loss is 2%. Let's click next. And we're going to back test. Um, let's see here. I've got one query, Peter. Okay. Peter, yeah, you can run you can run up to 30 strategies at the moment so simultaneously live and simulated. Um, traders, another thing um, that this reminds me of is if you traders have run out of strategies and you're running more than 30, or, or you sorry, you can't be running more than 30. If you're running 30, let me know on chat. I'm available here on chat. You can get me on chat most days of the week. The chat's available on the interface, and just ask me for more strategies. Um, and as long as you know you're using the maximum amount, I'm very happy to give you more strategies to run. So yeah, Peter, you can run 30, 50 uh, strategies. I'm probably at the moment running 40 strategies. Um, back tests you can do unlimited. You can run as many as you want into the thousands if you want. Um, and we have a lot of traders that have thousands of back tests. Um, so let's take the strategy, okay? And we're on um, 8:43 my time, and let's. Let's quickly try and run this and see how long it takes to get through, I don't know, six stocks. So um, this is for you, uh, Raman. The way you're going to test it over different stocks, you're going to click on the control panel. You're going to select clone. And any word that appears in bold, you can change with the click of a mouse. So let's change SPY to QQQ. Okay. There we are. And we're done, we're done, and we're back testing. Hang in there with me, traders. Let's do the next one. Let's see how quick we can do it. Um, let's do the next one on, um, I don't know. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. When I changed the QQQ, I forgot to change this one. So just be very careful that you're changing everything here. Um, yeah, thanks, Terry. I just noticed that. Thanks for picking that up. So, traders, when you're um, when you're cloning it, when you're running it through, be be very aware of what's happening. Um, let's test this on Microsoft and Microsoft and Microsoft. And I know it's a little bit monotonous, but once you start seeing the results then you know you know what to trade with. And this is all you should believe. You shouldn't believe other traders. You should believe your own results. Let's keep going. Um, we are on to one minute now. Started at 8.44. Let's do this on Google. And let's change that. And we'll go to Google. And there. Okay. And next. And let's do another three. Let's just see if we can get it done in the next minute. Um, and let's see here. Okay. And remember any word that appears in bold can be changed with a click of a mouse. 
Um, and this is where you get a real sense of how your strategy does perform in the market. Um, remember, if you're testing your strategy over tech stocks, you generally want to run it over tech stocks. Um, you don't want to take a strategy that's maybe working well on tech stocks and start running it, um, you know, in another genre before back testing it at least um, to get an idea of if it's working. Um, Apple, let's try. Uh, let's go with Apple. Uh, let's stick with Apple there. Okay, and one more, and we're going to run it one more time, um, and most of the traders in here that have been following me will know my favorite stock at the moment is Tesla, um, so let's do the last one on Tesla, and let's see what we come out with here. Uh, so Tesla, there we are, and then we'll go have a look and just see how this strategy has performed. Um, and remember, you'd want to test the strategy out on another genre. If you're if you're wanting to trade with some other stocks that um, are perhaps not tech stocks, you may want to test this uh, further, make some adjustments, and so on. Great. So we got okay. We got seven, uh, six in there in three minutes um, or so. So I'm sure if you traders are doing this all the time, you can get pretty fast at uh, maneuvering the, maneuvering these around. Let's go to the my strategies page again. And we'll have a clear indicator of how the strategy worked. It's a really simple one. I'm sure um, after looking at the results, you could probably we could probably work on the entry. We could probably work on the exit a little bit. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, let's start at the bottom where we were. Okay, we started with SPY. Um, okay, so we got 13 hits at 12%. QQQ came in at 19 hits at 11%. Uh, remember, this is over 90 days, traders. Uh, oh, sorry, hold on. Let's take this out. This was actually using, this was actually using, now traders, you can delete that, or any back tests or any strategies from the control panel. I'm just gonna take this out because that was the one that Thierry correctly had picked up. I'd used two different assets on. Um, okay, let's see how this came out. Um, okay, so here SPY 12.14, QQQ 12.93, Microsoft 9.81, uh, 7.32, 14. Um, oh, and you know, Tesla, the magician of the universe, is obviously <laughs> going crazy. Um, awesome. So, traders, this is a great way for you to, until we release the feature where you can um, run a single strategy of a group of stocks, this is a really easy way for you to start testing um, strategies over stocks you like. And I know, you know, most of you traders will probably trade, you know, maybe, you know, between 10 and perhaps at a maximum of 30 stocks um, that you generally trade with. Um, and you know, this is an easy way, um, for you to optimize the strategies and you can start now looking at, you know, changing perhaps something in the entry, changing perhaps something in the exit, see the results. The, the data is what drives your trading, nothing else. Um, unless obviously the news breaks out like it did with GameSpot a couple of days ago.